Hello, my name is Stefan. In this video, I will show you how to install the KitFix iSize in your car and buckle up your child correctly. To get you started, you can also find all the information you need in the user guide, which is located right here. Installing the KitFix iSize in your car is easy. We recommend the installation with ISOFIX. To use ISOFIX, just place the KitFix iSize on the seat and pull out the ISOFIX arms. When you click the ISOFIX arms into place, make sure that the indicators turn green on both sides. Now you just push the seat back a little. Make sure that the KitFix iSize rests on the backrest of the car. In some vehicles, you might need to remove or turn around the vehicle headrest if it gets in the way. To put the seatbelt into the guide, you need to raise the headrest first. To do this, we use the adjustment handle on the back. Make sure that the headrest is locked into place. Now the seatbelt can be pulled into the guide. Make sure that the XP pad is on the correct side. Then you open the XP pad, put in the seatbelt, and close the XP pad. When your child is in the booster seat, you should adjust the headrest if necessary. There should be a two-finger distance between the shoulders and the headrest. Remember, the markings on the back of the headrest are helpful to get the right setting every time you change the seat between cars. Now you can buckle up your child. Make sure that the seat belt lies within the green guides and runs through the secure guard. It should be firm and comfortable, and the XP pad should lie comfortably on the chest. To activate the SICT, just slide it on these rails, either like this or like this. The SICT must not touch the car door. Now you are ready for your first ride with a KidFix iSize. 